in which the below represents the arc length of tangent of x between points 0, 0 and pi over 4, 1. Okay, so start by writing out the formula here. So the arc length formula will be from point 1 to point 2, and it's just an extension of the Pythagorean theorem, possibly the Pythagorean. Not quite sure how it's pronounced. So then we factor out the delta x squared, which is square rooted, but then we're left with 1 plus delta x, no, delta y, over delta x, quantity squared, and then we simplify this to, bum, 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 integral, and I'm going to say that we're going to do x, so we'll go from 0 to pi over 4, and 0, pi over 4, 1 plus, and then I'm going to rewrite the delta y delta x is dy dx. Basically, we'll move the finitely small, really, really small increment to an infinitely small increment dx. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now we have y equals tangent of x, y equals tangent of x, and we want to find dy dx. So dy dx would then be secant squared of x. And so then when we square that dy dx quantity squared, we will get secant squared squared, which will then just be secant to the fourth of x. And so our final answer, possibly, there might be some simplifications that happen here. We shall see. Will be 1 plus secant to the fourth of x square rooted dx. So we got here as a possibility. Hmm. 0 pi over 4 1 plus secant fourth of x dx. Okay, that looks pretty good. So it is this one right up here, the top one. So let's look at this real quick. So then this picture there's something funny that happens between 0 and pi over 4. So this is the kind of question you might kind of see on a P exam, but you, you might have two to three minutes to solve it, but really probably it'll only take you like one. And so if you have extra time, and you know, you might want to take that time and then reinvest it into the next problem. But if you, you know, you're getting towards the end, and you have lots of extra time, it's good to kind of look at these points and make sure there's nothing funny that happens between them. So if you look at zero, and then pi over four is here, so tangent of x is um, sine over cosine. And cosine goes from 1 to square root of 2 over 2. So we don't, we don't ever get 0 in the um, denominator, which is good, which is kind of what we're looking for. So yeah, it seems reasonable. So yes, final answer, 1 plus secant to the fourth of x quantity square rooted from 0 to pi over 4. Thank you. See you next time.